One important thing to discuss with the animate object's spell, if an enemy has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks, these animated objects are probably only doing half damage. I don't actually feel too bad about this. There might not be as many enemies in D&D 5e that have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks as you might think. Most of us have this impression that after level 6, every enemy we fight is going to have resistance, but of the 2,500 or so enemies in D&D 5e, only about 250 of them have this resistance. Sure, at higher levels, it becomes more common, but of the 640 or so enemies that are challenge rating 9 and above, only about 120 of them have this resistance. So building a character to really take advantage of animate objects might not be as bad an idea as some people might think.